What is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the UU tier today. We are using a team that I just built. Uh, it's pretty cool actually. It's really nice. Uh, Thunderous is one of the biggest threats in UU right now. It's absolutely ridiculous how good this thing is. Uh, leftovers, Prankster with uh, agility, nasty plot. I'm actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep Prankster. There's no reason not to. Uh, Hidden Power Ice and Thunderbolt pretty much hits everything in the tier. We've got a Scarf Keldeo, nice wall breaker. Hidden Power Bug is for opposing Celebi, Latias, things like that. Uh, we have Life Orb Alakazam, which hits like an absolute truck. Substitute is there for Bisharp uh, to be able to set up a sub on its Sucker Punch and then get off a of Focus Blast and knock it out. Uh, then we have Gliscor, Stealth Rock, uh, Earthquake, Knockoff, Roost. I considered swapping Stealth Rock for Toxic and putting it on Solobi instead of Thunder Wave, but honestly, Thunder Wave helps, helps out the team a lot. It slows down faster Pokemon such as Crobat. Uh, things like that allow Alakazam to be able to revenge them. Really fun. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it this way for now. And then uh, we have Abandoned Entei, which is also a huge threat. Uh, nice priority on the team, something that I need. So let's find a game and see how quickly we can get one. It is pretty late, I would say. Uh, let's see how many people are playing in UU right now. 17 battles, so not too bad. We should be able to get one relatively soon. Either way, I'm going to pause it and we'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, we got one, and uh, I want you to just look for a second at what Thunderous with a nasty plot up does to this man's team. If that's not Scarf Crook, it actually just completely runs through the entire team, so... Yeah, we're gonna try to make that happen in the first game. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to lead off with... Uh, I think Celebi is the safest, uh, even though he has a Crook. Uh, I want to say the Celebi is safer than uh, Keldeo, just because of the Primarina. I think the Primarina is a bigger threat. Uh, but I am going to lead Keldeo because I feel Crook is a better lead against me. He does lead with Scizor instead. Uh, I'm just going to fire off a Scald right here. It'll do a good amount of damage to anything, uh, barring uh, Latias. Scizor takes a huge hit, goes for a U-turn. That is fine with me. As long as the Scizor is weakened, it's in range of Thunderbolt now, so that's one thing down. Uh, now Latias chooses to come in, of course. That's going to be a big issue. I am specially defensive Celebi, so I should be able to take this thing on as he goes for a Calm Mind. Okay, that's a little bit scary. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave immediately uh, because this thing is scaring the hell out of me right now. He's going to go for a Draco Meteor. It's going to do a lot, uh, but not enough. And we do land our Thunder Wave, meaning that we are now faster. Uh, so I can just recover off this damage and uh, have it be as if nothing ever happened. So that's nice. With Latias now paralyzed, it means that Thunderous uh, doesn't even really need... Uh, to worry about this thing too much because that would normally be able to take a hidden power ice But he is gonna go into his own thunderous, which is interesting um, I do have a scarf Keldeo, so I'm not too concerned uh, But I am somewhat concerned. I'm gonna go for a u-turn. Uh, he could have knock I don't know what his set is, so I'm just gonna go for u-turn He does choose to go for hidden power ice that doesn't do too much. Thanks to our special defense. We are gonna get off a u-turn I'm assuming that he is um, leftovers just like I am, so I'm actually gonna go out into Zam. He could have Thunder Wave, uh, but he doesn't actually have leftovers. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I am just gonna go for the Psychic right here, and we are gonna knock out the Thunderous with a crit, unfortunately, from my opponent, but I'm not sure if that mattered because we are Life Orb, so, uh, not 100% sure on that, but anyway. Um, Scizor comes out, I assume, uh, is this actually gonna be Crook? Okay. Uh, so I'm thinking this thing is Scarfed. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go into Keldeo here as he does go for pursuit. So good play Doesn't get moxie is intimidate. So uh, I'm gonna go into What Ente Keldeo? I think Keldeo is just the safest overall uh, And I think just fire off a I could go for hidden power bug to catch the Latias Realistically, but I think secret sword is an overall better play as he does go into Primarina now I do not have a switch into a specs Primarina at all on my team uh, except for Celebi. <coughs> excuse me Whoa, uh, Celebi can take a hit and uh, recover off the damage or Giga Drain, so that's exactly what I'm going to do, as uh, let's see what my opponent chooses to do. He is going to go for a Hydro Pump, we're going to be able to take that no problem, and I am just going to go for a Giga Drain right here. Uh, obviously, Scizor is not going to take too much from it, but uh, I should be fine. He goes into Empoleon though. We don't have any hazard removal on this team, I didn't mention that, but there is zero hazard removal across this entire team. So, uh, this thing's about to get up rocks and there's nothing I can do about it, except for Thunder Wave the Empoleon as well. So, <laughs> we do paralyze it, okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's go into... Let's go into Thunderous Hard, I think, is the play, as he goes for Stealth Rocks, okay. That's fine, that's fine with me. Uh, now, I'm not sure if his Crook is... Huh. I'm not sure if his Crocodile is Scarfed or Banded. 
I'm pretty sure it's choice, but I'm not sure if it's banded or... Um, I should have probably stayed in with Alakazam to find out. I'm gonna go for a nasty plot here. Z chooses to go out directly into Latias, which is nice. Uh, I can now go for a Hidden Power Ice. Uh, if he gets fully para, then we knock this thing out on the following turn <clears throat> with the Thunderbolt. and uh, Or maybe not. He's gonna go for a Psy Shock. That's not gonna be enough to take us out. And I am just gonna go for another Hidden Power Ice here. And we are gonna take out the Latias, so that's fantastic. Should he go into Crook? That pretty much confirms to me that he is Scarfed. Uh, he goes into Primarina instead. Is this thing Scarfed? No, it's not. Okay, so we take it down with uh, with a Thunderbolt. Beautiful. Goes straight down. And uh, I'm pretty sure his Crook is banded, probably, from the way uh, that he played it. Yep, there we go. And we do knock out the Crocodile. And now his Scizor can't knock me out with a Bullet Punch. So that is going to be GG to Sylveon Emily. Sorry, Emily. Uh, let's move on to the next game. That crit kind of sucked, uh, I feel, for Emily. But uh, if, that, if that person's name even is Emily... But, I mean, again, I'm not sure if it mattered. I can actually calc it up. Let's find out if a Thunderous, if a normal Thunderous uh, with Thunder Wave 3 attacks can take an Alakazam's Life Orb Psychic uh, from that range. It can. It can from the range that it was at, I think. Um, I'm going to play it back later and find out what exactly that Thunderous was at. But uh, he went for a Hidden Power Ice as I went for a U-turn, I think on that turn which didn't do too much he didn't come in on rocks or anything but he came in on a giga drain i believe um possibly now i can't remember but anyway let's move on to the next battle once again i'm going to pause it and we will be right back all right my reaction when i saw this team uh while it was paused was oh god <laughs> and uh we've got sun guys this is not fun this is not fun at all um luckily that's not mega venusaur I just gotta play properly around Darmanitan, I think, and I should be fine. Chandelure's a little bit scary. Um, let's lead with... I think... It's tough because he has the Ninetales. Yeah, let's lead off with uh, Gliscor. Because we do have some special bulk, so I should be okay to take a, a Fire-type attack. I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks because they're quite important as he chooses to go into Dawn Fan. See, this is the kind of scenario where having Toxic on this would have been nice. But I'm just going to go for Knock and uh, get rid of this thing's item immediately. That way, uh, it's sturdy is broken forever. And uh, if he has Ice Shard, then he has Ice Shard. It's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. He has Rocky Helmet, so that's gone. That's nice. Uh, he goes for Stealth Rocks. I'm going to start chipping away at this with Earthquake, honestly. Uh, as he doesn't have any form of recovery. He's going to go for Rapid Spin. That's absolutely fine. I'm just going to get back up my rocks at this point. And uh, if he wants to go into Chandelure, then so be it. He's going to go into Darmanitan. Now, I'm not sure I can take a hit from this in the sun. Um, let's check out our Gliscor set. Gliscor. Uh, it's this set, I believe, versus a Darmanitan. Choice Scarf uh, in the sun. 94 to 111. Yeah. Yeah, we're not taking that. Um, but I need this Gliscor. Yeah, I need this Gliscor. I'm gonna go into Keldeo. As good as Keldeo is this matchup, um, I gotta let it go down. Uh, is that normal damage? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Keldeo, you shouldn't die from that, right? No, you don't die from that. That's not Choice Scarf. That's either Life Orb. Is it even, can it even be Life Orb? It can be, but either way, it's not Scarfed. It's not even Scarfed Adam and damage. Like, it, it cannot be. No, there's no way. So, I'm pretty free to go into Zam here. That's what that means. Yeah, I'm pretty free to go into Zam. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for a sub, guys, uh, because he has the Clef Key, and the Clef Key can't really touch me outside of going for Play Rough. So, I'm going to now fire off some Shadow Balls. And, uh, as long as I have this Zam alive, I can revenge his, uh, Darmanitan, which is the biggest threat. So, uh, he's gonna go for Play Rough. He's gonna knock out my sub. That's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Entei Hard. And, uh, then I think I'm gonna go for a Stone Edge. As he is going to go for a Thunder Wave. Okay, so good play. Uh, but I am just gonna go for the Stone Edge. I'm not even gonna go for a Fire-type attack. As he goes for Spikes. And we get fully parrot. Thank goodness. Okay. I'm gonna go for Sacred Fire here. He does have Flash Fire Chandelure. I don't understand why he's not going into it. 
He goes into Dawn Fan instead and takes a banded Sacred Fire. Takes a lot, but doesn't go down. A little bit concerning. I think I'm faster than Dawn Fan. I'm pretty sure I'm faster than Dawn Fan. Uh, do I want to risk it right now? Not really. I can win with Thunderous. Thunderous just sweeps if it has an agility up. But I think it needs a nasty plot up as well. Uh, I'm gonna go into Gliscor. I'm gonna save this for E speed. As he chooses to go for a rapid spin, that is fine. I am just gonna go for another layer of stealth rocks. Um, if he wants to stay in, that's fine. He goes into Nine Tails, that's fantastic. Uh, I can Earthquake anything on his team, so this is great. I am just gonna go for Quake right here. As he chooses to go for Fire Blast, that does not do enough to us. And I am gonna leave this Nine Tails with 2% health. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spam Roost. As he goes for another Fire Blast, that is fine. This is in the sun and it's doing nearly nothing. Like, it's it's not doing anything. Um, and he goes out into his Venusaur, that is fine. We are especially defensive, so I am going to go for a knockoff here to get rid of a potential Life Orb. He's going to go for Growth, so it's a good thing that we went for knockoff, as we do get rid of the Life Orb. And uh, now I'm going to have to spam EQ. He goes for a Giga Drain, he does get all his health back, but I'm going to hit him pretty hard with an Earthquake right there. And uh, now what I think I have to do is wait for the sun to fade, and uh, then go into Zam, right? So in that case, I'm going to keep my Gliscor, I'm going to go into Celebi on his Giga Drain. Hopefully he goes for a Giga Drain. He does, okay, good. And uh, now we're going to attempt the Thunder Wave. It's not going to work because he's going to go for a Sludge Bomb. Uh, but then I can just go into Zam after and fire off a, a Psychic, so that's fine. And his Klefki's not going to enjoy it, I can tell you that much. He goes for the Sludge Bomb, it does knock us out, of course. I'm kind of regretting getting rid of his life orb <laughs> because that would have been some nice chip on this, but I am going to go Zam. His only other way to set up the sun is with Klefki, correct? So I'm just going to fire off a Psychic. He does choose to sack off his Nine Tails, and I'm assuming he's going to go into Klefki here. He does go into Klefki. Uh, I'm just going to fire off a Shadow Ball, honestly. If he Thunder Waves me, then he Thunder Waves me. So be it. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Because his Darmanitan is pretty low. He does get the full para, unfortunately, but I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball. He does go for a Play Rough. That's going to do a lot of damage, but we do get off the Shadow Ball, luckily. So a little bit of chip on this is always nice. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball. He should go for the Sunny Day here, but he doesn't go for it. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm going to go into Thunderous, and uh, I'm going to go for a an Agility right here. Uh, and if he goes straight into Chandelure, fine. If he goes for a Play Rough, I should be able to take it in theory. This thing does have decent attack, though. Eh, that's not looking good. Uh, if I'm Life Orb, though, he's not going to want to stay in here, I don't think. We'll see. He does choose to stay in. Uh, and he goes for a Sunny Day. Okay, cool. So we got off the agility, so we're now faster than his Venusaur. Uh, I'm going to go for a Nasty Plot right here. Let's see what he does. He goes for a Play Rough and misses, so I think that's actually going to be the game. Yeah, because I'm going to go for T-Bolt here. I'm faster than his Venusaur, and I have plus two. So I'm going to knock out the Klefki with the Thunderbolt, and I think I just sweep his team from here. Uh, I'm faster than Scarf Chandelure, and I have a plus two up. So this should go straight down. Yep, beautiful. Uh, I don't think missing the play rough mattered because the Thunderbolt took him out at plus two anyway. So yeah, that's going to be GG. We get a second win. All right, cool. Against Sun, and that's probably one of my hardest matchups because my one of my hardest hitters is also hindered by the Sun. So let's try to find a third game. We are 14 minutes deep. Once again, guys, I'm going to pause it, and we will be right back. All right, guys, we got one, and uh, I played this guy a little bit earlier. Uh, I made him forfeit, if I remember correctly, because I um, can't remember what I did to his Haxorus. I think I crit it through a screen, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's. Uh, I think leading off with Keldeo is pretty safe, because I do have a good response to his Delmize. What did I lead with last time? can't remember. I think Keldeo is just overall safe, though. It's fine. He does choose to lead off with his Delmize. Like I said, I have a decent switch into this uh, in Gliscor. And Gliscor can just heal up on this, so... Um, it's a little bit dangerous because uh, I do go first. So it's it's harder to roost because he can power whip me. Uh, he's going to pull out a switch into his Keldia, though. And I'm going to go straight into Celebi. I'm not even going to think about it. As he is going to go for a Hidden Power Bug. Okay, so great play. Uh, so just like mine, it is Hidden Power Bug. Um, which means I am going to double back into Gliscor. No reason not to. As uh, he might switch out. 
I would assume he'd switch out if he wants to keep up the uh, offensive pressure. He is just going to go for another hidden power bug. Now, I'm pretty sure this thing is choiced. So, I am going to get my rocks right here, which is very nice. And uh, then we'll play from there. These are the kind of games that I wish I had Toxic on Gliscor because of this thing. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go straight out into Celebi. I'm not even going to think about it. If he goes back into Keldeo, then good play. But I am going to stay in on it this time. As uh, he is going to double back into this. Delmize. Okay. Um, I'm going to U-turn on it. U-turn on it. All right. And uh, then I'm going to go into Gliscor, which we do have knockoff on. So uh, he's going to go for a rapid spin. Get rid of my rocks. That's fine. He is taking sand damage. And uh, I'm just going to get my rocks back up. I really don't mind uh, this thing being in here. As he is going to go out into his Keldeo now. Um, I could switch into Celebi. I think I have to switch into Celebi, don't I? Um, actually, let's go for a Roost first. As he goes for a Hydro Pump and misses, unfortunately. That sucks. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to switch into Celebi now, as we are specially defensive, and I'm, I'm pretty convinced that he's Scarf because Hidden Power Bug didn't do that much. Uh, as he actually crits me with his Hydro Pump and knocks me out. Okay. So, if he's Scarfed... Um, hmm. How do I win this game? With Thundy, right? Again? <laughs> Thunderous is getting thumbnail, guys. Guarantee that right now. Um, I think Zam is the appropriate play. Sorry for the way I said that. Zam! Um, I'm going to go for a sub. As he goes out into his Klefki, perfect. Uh, we're going to go for a Shadow Ball right here. And um, my friend doesn't have a switch in. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. It's going to do 30%. He is going to go for the Flash Cannon and break the sub. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch out into my Thunderous, as I can't be Thunder Waved. Uh, as he is going to go for Thunder Wave, fantastic. And now I'm going to go for a Nasty Plot, I believe. And uh, that should very much hinder him, as he's going to go out into Hippo. Not sure if this has a Rock-type move, and I'm not sure I can knock him out either from this range. Um, with this much special attack. Hey, Pout on, how much do you take? Pout on versus Thunderous... I'm pretty sure I can't. Yeah, there's no way. Plus two. Uh, 69 to 81. So, and how much does his rock type move do to me? Uh, Stone Edge does, actually, Stone Edge only does 83. So yeah, let's just go for Hidden Power Ice. Uh, Ban Thunderous, yes, Ban Thunderous. He has to run Roar on this, uh, just for that. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball right here, because it should knock out his Hippowdon, because it's Life Orb. And uh, now he's in a pretty bad spot, I would say. Uh, because he's forced to go back into Clef Key, but I can just switch in Thunderous every time on Clef Key now that I know it's rocking Flash Cannon. As uh, he chooses to go into his Delmize, I'm just going to Shadow Ball this. I'm faster, and I have um, and I have a Life Orb, so I'm going to knock it out 100%, even if it's Assault Vest. He's going to double into his Keldeo on my Shadow Ball, okay? Um, that did a lot. And uh, I'm just going to go for Psychic. going to find out what kind of Keldeo this is. I don't really need Zam this game, so... He's going to go into his Klefki. I'm just going to get off a l nice Life Orb Psychic. And uh, now we're going to go back into Thunderous because there's nothing he can do about it. And uh, this is why Thunderous is so good in this tier, guys. It really is OP. Uh, as he's going to pull out a switch into his uh, Haxorus. But I still have my Gliss score, guys, so I'm not too worried about this. I am going to go for Hidden Power on this first turn as he's going to let me hit him. He's going to go for a DD. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sack... Uh, my Keldeo, because it doesn't do anything this game, as he's going to go for a Dragon Claw. That's not even going to take us out, and we're actually Scarfed. So we will be able to uh, finish him off with a Secret Sword. Uh, if he wants to switch into Delmize, that's fine, because it's just going to repeat a pattern. Uh, as he is going to go out into Clefable, actually. Now, this thing is a little bit threatening, because if it is Calm Mind, then I might have a little bit of a problem on my hands. Uh, so I'm going to go directly into Entei, because I don't have a choice as let's see what he does he goes for the calm mind yep and i'm gonna start blitzing this thing because i'm not playing games with a uh calm mind clefable in uu <laughs> gonna blitz this thing and soft boiled yep it's dead to the next blitz so and he has no switch ins at this point his keldeo is too low so is his uh Haxorus. everything dies so he's going to sack off his delmize and uh, that is fine with me because his keldeo can come in if it wants to but I mean, it's so low, like, it's it's a, it's a 29%, and I was already sacking my Keldeo to his Haxorus, so, uh, he's gonna go for a Hydro Pump, that's fine, 
I'm just gonna go out into Zam, and we are just going to click uh, Psychic again. I don't care if he goes into Klefki, I've already said it before. Uh, now, if he goes into Clefable, the thing is, even if he doubles, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball here, in case he doubles, because he knows that my Thunderous can potentially come in. Uh, he could also go for a Play Rough, which I think would take me out at this point, but I'm not 100% sure. He's gonna go for the Flash Cannon, it's not gonna do much at all, and I'm just gonna go for another Shadow Ball here. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna go into Thunderous. Yeah, definitely going into Thunderous is my play. Goes for a Flash Cannon, doesn't do much, as you can see. And now we just go for a Nasty Plot and win this game. Uh, as my opponent does forfeit, so that's gonna be yet another win. And I think I'm actually gonna end it off there, guys, because this team just does the same thing over and over again. It just wins with Thunderous. This thing is so good in this tier. It needs to be banned. Uh, it needs to be removed from UU because it's way too good. It needs to go to BL. Uh, I'm curious to see how well Thunderous would do in OU, actually. Huh, that might be something to try out. The only thing is that the speed tiers in OU are very different from UU right now. Like, there's things like Greninja, Feromosa, a lot of fast stuff. So, I don't know if Thunderous would work out as well. It's definitely a monster down here, though. So, if you guys want to use this team alongside me, definitely check it out in the uh, description down below. I'll leave a link to the pace bin, as I usually do with all my teams. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao!